Hello there, this is Patricia from Pinky's World and today I'm making some wee gifts to give to people who are coming to the catalogue party who will be getting a catalogue and hopefully going through it and enjoying themselves. So this is the wee packs I'll have. Um, they contain a bar of chocolate, a nice little pen and um, two wee sticky notes. So I have decorated up. I did want to make it out of some of the new items, but I haven't arrived yet, so I'm kind of at a loss as to what to do. So I just went ahead and used some return stuff. This um, mint macaron is leaving us, so a bit disappointing. It's not a bad wee colour. It's a nice fresh green for this time of the year. Uh, the papers are probably coming to an end soon too. You call them Country Flower Lane, and I've still a few left, so that's what I've decided to go with. And they're all the perfect match. Just drop card, my old lesser. So, anyway, it's meant to be like a wee fail, and I'll just have them all stacked nicely. But you could put anything you want in there if you're making them as a wee gift for somebody with notebook covered and nice matching pen or whatever. So, easy enough done. Um, the stamps that I use is said country bouquet that was the the bundle and for that sentiment <laughs> it was a fun wishing you everything on your list obviously the Megan list hopefully and it came from a really old one signs of Santa which I thought was perfect so remember to look through Christmas stamps and use them at all times of the year get used out of them so I'm trying to get myself sorted here what you need to get you started is your chosen card, whatever colour you're going with. Um, it needs to measure eight and three quarter inches wide by six and a quarter deep. And then you'll need your DSP to cover it. You need two pieces at five inches by three inches and one piece for the front that measures three inches by two and three quarters. So they all measure three inches wide, so that'll keep you right. So we're going to do a bit of scoring on this to start us off. And you want to start scoring it on the long side, the eight and three quarter inch side. Start scoring at three quarters of an inch. I'm just going to use my smaller one. Excuse me, three quarters of an inch, and then over to four inches, and then four and three quarters. <coughs> Excuse me, and then right over to eight inches. <coughs> Excuse me, I've got a chuggy cough. Right, so turn, spin it round, and at the bottom, score it at three quarters of an inch. And that's your scoring done. Oh no, stop, it's not. <coughs> Excuse me, put it back in, turn it round this way so that you have a score line here, 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 and here, and your long line is at your right. Pop it in there and we're going to score it at two and a half inches. Go to two and a half inches. We're going to score it right through the first score line up to the second one. So you're not going into this barrel here, just scoring it here. And then don't spin it. Flip it. You have it like this, right? You've done your scoring here. This is for that wee off cut at the front here. So flip it like so. And you could just use, <coughs> no, I'm just going to use my two, and again, score just ever so slightly, a wee notch just at the two and a half inches. So that you have it marked at the other side for doing your cuts. And that is all your um, score. So we're going to cut up our bottom bits and get those sorted. So this is the part we're going to cut this off. So you can cut it on your cutting, your cutting machine, whatever you use to cut, or with your scissors. And I'm just going to cut up roughly here. This part's going to be coming off soon anyway. So keep that scrap. Down here, we're going to cut this off, but we're not cutting it in. We need it to be nice and square. So just straight up and straight over. Don't be cutting any way at all. Just keep that nice and straight. In here, we can cut these two up. And we can trim those slightly just to tidy them. I 
And this one will just cut up here. And again, you can trim that one slightly. <clears throat> Excuse me. So now we need to cut these sections here. And that's the part where you marked it slightly with your, um, if you can see it. It's just here. I can see it. You'll see it when you're doing your own. There, you can see it now, just here. So get yourself a cutter of some sort. I'm going to go with this wee one here and hopefully it'll behave itself. For this one, we want to cut from here up to here. So from that actual point, but because that's an indentation, make sure you get to this side of it. Don't leave it uh, hanging there because it won't look nice and you want to get rid of it. So I'm sliding that in. I'm going to cut it from the point where that fold over bit joins and I'm bringing this up to the far side of that big end indentation you made with your scoreboard. So just be careful at this stage. Take your time. You can see that is brought right across. I didn't want any of that curve left there. Do the same at this side. Slide it in. You've got your mark down here. And again, keep it to keep your big uh, indentation this side you can't see it with that of course but I'm keeping it right over so it's not on the cutting part the blade's just actually going to cut to the left of it and mark this one nicely too and that gives you a nice wee tap there at this stage you can actually slide it back in and we're just going to make sure that it's straight we're button it right up there and we're trimming just a wee bit of edge of it, nothing more than that, just to make it a nice straight cut. So we can do our folds now, give them a wee burnish, and then we're going to add our DSP while it's still flat. You can see my score has actually brought me out a wee bit. I'm going to trim that again. I don't want that showing. You can see it a wee kind of a curve. So I'm sticking it back in and just trimming it again. If you get that, just do the same. It just takes that off out of your way and keeps it nice. That's better. That's the way I want it to look. Just not curved up there. So do the rest of your burnishing. I think I might actually trim some more off that. It doesn't need to be too tall. So I'll double check. Yeah, I'm still not happy with that. It might be my score, my bad, bad score. That's maybe helping it a bit, but as I say, I'm going to trim that. I'm going to get my five inch piece that's going to go on the inside. And you can see I've got lots of room there. So I'm going to stick this in place and then use that to cut. This one does go on the inside, so you're okay to put that there. And then we'll trim the top to suit. Don't want to trim it. Bring your paper up to the top. You're not going to see it at the bottom, but I think you need to trim it off to keep it nice. I had to allow that much to give me room to do my wee fold overs. So again, just pop it in. Fold that over so have a nice straight line to butt it up. And just cut it where you think it looks best. You can see that's nice now, just make sure you're nice and straight. And then we'll flip it over to the front side. We're going to stick this one here and this one is going to go here. But I want to punch a half a circle off there. So 
stick that in place. This one will want to butt it right up to the top here where it's going to sit. I'm going to put the tiniest wee bit of glue on it. I'll put the glue down the other side. So line that up in the centre of that front piece, right up to the edge so it's level. You're not keeping it there, so it's only a wee holder that's holding it together. Then get your circle. I'm using a one and a half inch circle, but use whatever size you want or whatever punch you want. It doesn't have to be a circle. Center it between those two areas there and down as far as you want to go. About there should do. And then lift this off carefully. Slide it down to the position it will be taken and you can see you've got the nice wee groove that should match it nicely. Well, as close as I can get it anyway. If you have a better tip, please share it. This is the quickest way I know to do it. Oops. So pop that in there. Make sure it's lined up at the bottom on the sides. And then it should look fine for your punching. So now we we'll want to do a wee bit of stamping. As you can see, I have stamped a wee bit of decoration just up the side because I wasn't putting paper on it and I didn't want to leave it blank. So I'm going in with the mint macaron and the wee stamp that comes, where are you? That comes with that country bouquet set and I'm using this wee long leaf out of it. So I'm just starting and putting the point down here and working that across that way. And then I'm going the opposite way. You could just go straight up or whatever, just do whatever tickles your fancy. Now I want to add a last wee bit there. Let's scrap under my other paper. And then just go like you would. And that finishes it off. So I'm just going to do the same on this side. Again. And then I go over, so that should finish that off. Now we can join up our box. So this is going to come along here. Because we've done this on the outside, naturally you would form that so the joins at the back, but I want to put it in here today because I want to show off the nice uh, embellishment or stamping. So I'm going to put glue on these two wee bits and glue on this bit here. So just form your nice box shape down at the bottom there so that everything's sitting. Nicely put together, nice and firm on your corners. And the same on this side. Push them up just nice. So they're nice and neat looking. I'll make sure they're taken. And then we'll put glue on this. Not right, just I'm putting that to the inside. The bottom one we can put to the outside. So just pop that so it slides into your box there. And again, make sure it's going right down to the bottom and right firm against your give it 
Do we rip? Always double check before you see too much that you're happy. Seems okay. And then the bottom one, we're just going to put glue here and stick it straight down. And again, just make sure that it's all nicely squared and everything's looking happy. That looks good. Should have had a wee bit of stamp in there, I suppose, but it's going to be sitting like so. So now we're able, we need to do um, a wee bit on the front. So get yourself a scrap of your paper, and I'm using the postage uh, stamp, postage rectangle postage <laughs> stamp punch. It's like a tongue twister. So punch yourself out one of those, and then do the same in a, a piece of white, whisper white, basic white, whatever you want to call it. And in order for it to show up nicely, we want to trim off the wee postage stamp edges. So it's really easy, just slide it in, line it up, and just do that on all four sides to get rid of those wee bumps. Don't leave any of them. Hard to get this wee bugger shit. And that should fit over the top and show the nice wee border underneath. So do you get double use out of it? So for our stamping bit, I'm going to go with um, where's my that wee one that I took from the Christmas set and I'm just going to do it in black so that it sits out nice rather than going with the mint macaron. So stamp that in the centre of your wee rectangle. Then we we'll want to go in with Whoops, the wee flower set. And it is a flower that has um, some leaves and some flowers. So rather than going in and farting about with your stamping right pens, hoping that you'd even have the right colours, go ahead and stamp it in the main colour that you want the flower to be in. Bring it as close to the wording as you can possibly go, just so that you see a lot of the flower. And then go in with um, a dark colour. Mint macaron may not do it. I'm going to get it in thread. It's not a particularly dark um, colour. So I'm going to thread on a piece. I'm not sure if that'll cover it. If it doesn't, just go in with a darker shade of green over the top of it. But just colour in the wee leaves. You're just tracing around the top of them. You could let it dry and go back in again if you felt it wasn't taken right. But this saves you having to, you know, double stamp or whatever. It's not overly dark. The other one I went in with a deeper a deeper green as you can see but it doesn't match that's the only thing but i'll leave that to dry and go back in i'm going to also put um a wee dot of red just to, to bring the red in out of the paper in the center of the flowers i'm just using real red here just for another wee bit of color and then we'll pop that up on larger dimensionals Stick it to the base. I think I need a new page. Very messy. So line that up so that it's sitting nicely where you want it. 
and then we're going to use a bit of the last of my ribbon we may as well use it up so what you want to do is put in something hard behind that just I want to put some double sided tape or whatever here I'm going to try and hold the ribbon in position while I work on the back of it so we we'll want one piece coming like so it's going to go round the back and then up this way cross that way and then crisscross them at the bottom and back up here you can chop that off and they're caught as much as we can catch them move it down if you want before it's stuck permanent so you get across at the front and across at the back i didn't get it as well as i'd like it to on the other one as you can see my front moved when i was sticking it down so to stop that put a piece of double-sided sticky tape on top of it and that will hold them in position for you Where's my pokey tool? There you are. So I'm just going to glue this on a place which will help to hold your ribbon good and firm as well. Press it good and firm so it takes. And then you're just going to fill your wee box up with your goodies. So I have another bar of chocolate. This is the wee pens that came from a shop. Is it around the world you call it? Sostragene.com. It was in Belfast. There's one in Belfast. There's one in Newry. The one in Belfast is much better. I really enjoyed it. I could spend the day in it. But that's where I got those wee things. So that is your boxes done. So pretty pleased with those. I've another couple to make, and that will do my job. And I think they'll be nice sitting up on the table. You can put them back to back, and just have a nice wee display. So hope you enjoyed that. And maybe I'll give it a wee go. I would like to have used, as I say, the nice new stuff, but my parcel hasn't arrived yet. So hope night for another week. Anyway, thanks for watching, and if you do any shopping, the host code is at the top there. Can you see it? There it is. I have it written down beneath anyway, so if you are shopping on this less than £150, um, use the host code, and I'll send you out a nice bit of the new product that's going to be arriving very soon. So anyway, catch us all again soon. Bye.